What's up guys, we're in a bit of a different setting today because today is a tea talk. For the uninitiated on Tuesdays, I sometimes do tea talks where I talk about whatever the hell I want. And this one's going to be very different really from all of the others because I'm talking about how it is that I never get sick. Of course, it's not like I literally never get sick. Sometimes we all have to pay the piper and we all catch colds here and there. But I do know that I get sick far, far, far less often than the average bear. And I have a few theories on what it is that allows allows me to stay healthy most of the time. I catch colds less than once a year, probably even less than once every two years. I know for certain I've gone stretches of quite a few years without even catching a cold. Now, to be fair, I think a lot of it does have to do with just genetics. My dad very, very, very rarely gets sick as well. And I do think that I take after him in that way. However, I do know that I have the potential to get sick frequently. And there were times in my life where I was getting cold multiple times a year. I'm talking four, five, six different times a year. And through various lifestyle changes, I've managed to basically nip that in the bud. And now I almost never get sick. And I think the main thing is lifestyle and two, the fact that I lick a lot of doorknobs. Kidding, obviously, but I think there are things that we can all probably do to help give our immune systems a bit of help if you find that you're getting more sick than you would probably like. Which is to say getting sick at all, because who likes being sick? Sick sucks. And that's why we are in my kitchen today because I don't have a medicine cabinet per se in my bathroom. My medicine cabinet is just full of like skincare and tongue scrapers and toothbrushes and stuff. But when I do feel that I might be coming down with something, that I might be catching a cold, I'm typically able to nip it in the bud with things that live here in my kitchen. So this little cabinet here up here, just a bunch of my teas, but, uh, down here is basically my medicine cabinet and I guess it sort of ties into that old cliche let thy food be thy medicine. I will be sure to link all of the key items that I talk about today in the description box so you guys can find them because I know a lot of them I am not able to get on the ground here from health food stores and I live in LA. You would think that we have everything when it comes to hippy dippy healthy living, but we don't. Some things I do have to get online. But the first thing I'm going to talk about, you definitely do not have to get online and that is my coconut oil. This is a jar that I have refilled and reused for a very long time. It's actually uh, got a bit of coconut oil on the outside, so apologies for it being messy. But that is my jar that I go to every single morning because I do something called oil pulling. I've done a couple videos where I talk about oil pulling. I did a video where I just explained what it is, which I will link right here. And I've also done a video on my all natural dental routine where I touch on it. But the Cliff's Notes is oil pulling is an Ayurvedic practice that is centuries old, wherein you keep oil in your mouth. Uh, one of the most common ones is coconut oil. Sometimes people use sesame oil as well, but there's any number of oils you can use. You just don't want to use anything that's like canola oil or anything like that. But any high quality plant oil like such as coconut is a good way to go. And you basically just keep that oil in your mouth. I use a tablespoon and I keep it in my mouth for 20 minutes every morning. And that helps to just sort of not only care for my gums and teeth, but it also helps to adhere to any nasty germs and bacteria that might be in my mouth because of the lipidic surface on the, on the surface of germs. It helps them to cleave to the oil. And then once I spit it out, all that nastiness goes out with it. One of the main reasons I began oil pulling, I would say six or seven years ago was I was in a cycle of getting sick a lot and I wasn't really sure why and I, I really just wanted it to stop. And I think incorporating oil pulling into my routine was a key turning point in helping me to get my immune system to where it is and help me get to a point where I basically never get sick. Though I pretty much never get sick, I do come close and there will be times, I mean, this happened to me yesterday where I felt like I was getting a sore throat and that is always how cold start for me. It's always that, that tightness in my throat. I usually wake up with it and then I just go into DEFCON 4. So when I feel like I am on the verge of getting sick and I need to fight off a cold before it turns into a full blown illness, I will typically add some oregano oil to my coconut oil for my oil pulling in the morning. As you can see, this is also very messy just from oil oil dripping down the sides and things. But if I feel like I'm getting sick, I'll add maybe five drops of this to my tablespoon of my coconut oil, oil pull with that, and that is a huge help in helping to nip in the bud any illnesses that I feel might be coming on. So I don't use the oregano oil every single day. I just work it in if I feel like I might be on the verge of getting sick. 
Next up, I have something that's new to me, but this is Lipospheric Vitamin C. This is basically like emergency, but it actually works. Emergency, in my opinion, or at least in my experience, I should say, has never done anything for me. It hasn't really helped me to fight off a cold at all. But this is a completely different type of vitamin C supplement where it's actually much more bioavailable to you. It is not a powder. It basically looks like a vitamin C snot. And you get these little sachets of it. You cut one open and then you squeeze out the vitamin C snot into anywhere between one and three ounces of water. It will not dissolve. It will stay, you know, in that sort of clump of gel. And then you just shoot the whole thing. And again, because this vitamin C is actually more bioavailable to you, it doesn't end up just getting peed out. It actually helps your immune system get that boost it might need if you feel like a cold is coming on. I had this twice yesterday. I had one when I first broke my fast, and then I had another one just before bed. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say broke my fast, I do intermittent fasting every day, but I've also done a video on that, so I'll link that here. And I've only started using these in the past few months. Uh, I had another instant, actually, when I was traveling, I got to my destination. Destination. I was in New Orleans and I felt like I was coming down with something which is normal because I was on a plane and planes are basically petri dishes in the sky. A few hours of breathing recirculated air probably put my immune system in a compromised state but luckily I had thought to bring some of these with me and uh, I, I was really really having trouble. I, I was definitely borderline already sick a little bit, but I took one of these and I did my oil pulling and in less than a day, I was feeling back to normal. When I go into DEF CON 4 and I need to actually stave off a cold that is trying to threaten me, uh, I will also use something called fire cider. If I have some made, I don't right now. I haven't made it in a while because it is a bit of a bother, but I will link some recipes to fire cider below. Another good option is this. This is a cold cocktail cold and flu buster. This is basically a tonic. This will of course be linked with everything else. And this has a lot of those great ingredients that tend to go into fire cider. Fire cider has ingredients like garlic, onion, apple cider, vinegar, all sorts of stuff. All those homeopathic remedies that are known to help with curing colds and flu. But the nice thing about this is I don't have to make it and I can just kind of have it on standby and have it ready to go whenever I need it. So I'll take probably a teaspoon of this two or three times a day if I feel like I'm coming down with something. Yesterday was that day I took two teaspoons of this and today I feel completely fine again. So this has echinacea in it, turmeric, ginger, lemon peel, apple cider vinegar, cayenne, boldo, uh, you know, myrrh, it's all organic, wild crafted, all that good stuff. And it is just a good addition to my emergency protocol no pun intended when I say emergency since I just shit on emergency, but it's a great addition to everything else that I do when I feel like I'm getting ill. I also will incorporate elderberry syrup. Elderberry syrup is another great boost for your immune system. It really does help if you're already sick or about to get sick. It also tastes really good. I would just say be careful which ones you get. You don't want any ones that have sugar in them. This one is sweetened with honey, which is why I picked it. And it's also got organic apple cider vinegar propolis which is basically from bees it's also really really great for fighting off colds and boosting your immune system and this also has some echinacea in it along with everything else so yesterday I had two teaspoons of this one teaspoon when I first broke my fast and another teaspoon before bed really like this one this will also be linked with everything else of course in the description box all my life growing up my mom's solution for sore throats was one gargling with warm water and salt and two fresh squeezed lemon and honey equal parts. So I still do that. I think everyone knows what lemon looks like, but the main change I've done now is I will actually use Manuka honey rather than just your regular degular honey bear honey. Manuka honey is really good because it's got a lot of bioactives in it. Just another way to give yourself that immune boost. This is a brand that I really like and I've repurchased and I like the ones that have a bioactive rating of 20 or higher. You'll find brands that have much lower ratings. The lower the rating the less expensive it will be. But I prefer to invest in a high quality, high bioactive rating Manuka honey, and I only reserve it for when I'm sick. So I'm not burning through my bougie expensive honey when I'm just making a regular hot toddy. But when I am sick or when I'm trying to fight off a cold, I'll take some of this with lemon or I'll make a tea, like I might make a ginger tea because that's also really good for your immune system. So I'll get my ginger tea from my tea shelf right here, put some of this in that, put in some cayenne pepper, lemon, 
and even some cinnamon because cinnamon's also really good for your immune system. So those are the kinds of things that I like to do because just having a hot drink with all that immune boosting stuff really, really helps. And it also just helps soothe the throat if I'm starting to feel any irritation there. And we can't forget garlic. This is just my garlic braid. I eat a lot of garlic anyway, but if I'm getting sick, I will definitely incorporate raw garlic. I actually like garlic enough to be able to just kind of eat it raw, but more often than not, if I'm sick, I'll just take a clove or two, crush it with the side of my knife and then chop it so that the garlic is about the size of maybe like little aspirin pills. And then I'll just take those down with water. Garlic is one of the best things that you can incorporate if you feel that you are getting sick or if you're already sick. And raw garlic especially, again, just crush the clove to kind of like release those essences, let it sit for a minute and then chop it up into a size that you can swallow easily with just with some water and you'll be good to go. Last but not least, of course, we have apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is one of those cure-all kind of things that you always wanna have in your cabinet, in my opinion, at least if you're committed to living a more natural-oriented lifestyle and you're not really too keen on taking Dayquil. I do not recommend ever just taking a shot of apple cider vinegar because of it, how acidic it is. It could be really damaging to your teeth enamel. So I'll just mix a little bit of this in a hot drink like I was describing a moment ago. If I just wanna do like some ginger tea with some of my Manuka honey, lemon, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and a bit of this, maybe half an ounce. I feel like that is just a perfect little tonic for me to add in with all of my other let's not get sick kind of protocol items. And it really, really helps. I don't necessarily need to do all of these things when I'm on the verge of getting sick. I find that if I do maybe one to three of them, it usually nips things in the bud for me. I can speak to that happening within the past 24 hours because yesterday I did my oil pulling with my coconut and my oregano oil. I took some of my lipospheric vitamin C. I took a couple teaspoons of my cold and flu tonic. And then I took some elderberry syrup just because it tastes good. I didn't really need it. I thought I probably would have been just fine with the previous three steps, but any excuse to have a little bit of this I will take. And that is pretty much it. That is how I never get sick, or at least how I almost never get sick. And when I feel something coming on, how I stop it. That is gonna do it for this tea talk. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that maybe if you are sick or getting sick, some of these remedies will help you. Unfortunately, because a lot of these items I'm only able to get online, I have to kind of plan ahead and make sure I have them on standby, in stock, before I actually get into trouble. So I recommend you do the same and be sure to check the description box in case you're having trouble finding anything that I mentioned. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>